Michel Barnier has warned he is worried for the fate of the post-Brexit trade talks ahead of this week's make-or-break negotiating round in London. The Brussels diplomat hit out at his British counterpart for trying to secure a best-of-both-worlds divorce from the bloc. The Frenchman said, I remain worried. The negotiations are difficult, because the British want the best of both worlds. We did not go to bed. In the end the interests of the EU are respected. There will be no agreement to the detriment of the single market. Mr. Barnier insisted he would not agree to a free trade agreement without a pact that secures access to Britain's fishing grounds for European vessels. Excluding European fishermen is not acceptable for us, the EU's dealmaker fumed. Speaking to French radio, Mr. Barnier said the 27-member bloc must remain united until the end of the wrangling over a Brexit deal. He said, there are people who do not wish us good, who want to destroy us, Mr. Farage and his friends, we are not going to let it go. The European Union is not a state, it is a community of 27 nations which have a national identity. This complexity is the price to pay for Europe to be united without being uniform. Mr. Barnier is due to hold talks with Lord Frost, the Prime Minister's Brexit envoy, in London later today. The Frenchman insisted he would demand answers from Downing Street over reports the government plans to use domestic legislation to overwrite the controversial Northern Ireland Protocol. But the EU negotiator refused to comment whether the Internal Market Bill, due to be published on Wednesday, could sink the Brexit talks. Politicians and officials across Europe reacted furiously to the news Britain could be seeking to override the EU withdrawal agreement's Irish border system. Irish Foreign Minister Simon Coveney said, this would be a very unwise way to proceed. An EU diplomat told Express.co.uk, it's an incomprehensible yet utterly expected turn of events. Another diplomat added, without correct implementation of the withdrawal agreement, I cannot imagine the EU would conclude a treaty with a country that does not abide by its treaty commitments. A third source, if the UK chose not to respect its international obligations, it would undermine ITS international standing. Who would want to agree trade deals with a country that doesn't implement international treaties? It would be a desperate and ultimately self-defeating strategy.